Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2010 Jeep Wrangler. This one is a base sport model with the six-speed manual, but as you can obviously see, this one has had some very nice upgrades done to it. So outside, this one is obviously finished off in a red exterior. You can see your typical Jeep fender flares, as well as your Wrangler badge on the side, and your factory Jeep side steps. Black plastic mirrors and your black door handles, and obviously this one is equipped with the soft top. You can see your fuel cap is on the driver's side. Like I said, your Wrangler, as well as trail rated badges. I'm not sure what has been done exactly, but we'll give you a look at the suspension. You can also see underneath, this one was a very clean southern vehicle. Around the rear, this one does have an upgraded rear bumper with your tow hooks on it, as well as a trailer hitch down below. A very nice look with that as well. You can see I like whoever did this one because they actually took the time to get a matching wheel and tire to the rest. So you do have a matching American Racing wheel on the rear. And coming up to this side, this one is riding on, like I just said, a set of American Racing steel wheels. They are black, obviously. It is riding on BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. They are LT315 75R16, so 16-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes another shot of up underneath. I mean, this is just an insanely clean Jeep. You can tell whoever had this definitely had it more as a toy than for actual off-road use. Up front, upgraded front bumper on this one as well with your fog lights. And once again with the tow hooks. Go ahead and get in. Does include your typical key from this era of Jeep. And as I mentioned, this one being a sport, Manual windows, manual locks, all that good stuff. Everything is in great shape. Like I said, this is just a super clean one. Stepping in, does have your factory all-weather floor mats. And to start, go ahead, make sure it's in neutral, put on the clutch, and just insert the key. And just like that, starts up perfect. Go ahead and close the door. And once you're inside of this Jeep, as you can see, this one does just have the standard steering wheel. Very typical Jeep, nice and light power steering. Your wiper controls on this stock, headlight controls on this stock, and your fog lights just pull. On the door itself, it's all a plastic material. I mean, it's pretty rugged, exactly as you'd expect in one of these. I mean, you can even see the door can be removed. But all plastic lined on the door. You do have your manual locks, and like I said, manual windows in this one. Some of you kids, I bet you've never even seen one of these. All very simple to use. Dashboard itself, once again, with the rugged material around, but you can see you do have the tweeters built in for your audio system up top. Gauges, your fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer, and then your engine temperature. It's your outside temperature. And going through your trip computer right there. You can see this one has just over 34,000 miles on it. In the center, your audio system up top. This one does just have the standard head unit from this time. CD player, AM, FM, um, auxiliary in, all of that. It's your aux built right into it. And for what it is, it's a great sounding stereo. Two air vents down below there. And then your single zone manual climate control. Once again, all very simple to use. Fan speed, temperature, different zones. You have two power outlets right here. There's one, the other. Pulls your traction control on and off and hazard controls. A little storage compartment there. Like I said, this one is equipped with the six speed manual. With six, and then all the way over from the back or reverse. Definitely a very um, tractor like shifter is the only way I can describe it. Very Jeep like though, definitely adds to the driving experience. Two cup holders right there, and your parking brake, as well as obviously your manual drive controls. Padded armrest in the center with storage inside. You can even remove that. And with this as well, you can lock it so you can use that as storage when you do have the doors off. Up top, visors, your vanity mirror built in, your manually dimming mirror in the center. This is another one right there. Overall, just a great place to be. Seats are very nice and comfortable, and you can see just how clean they are in this one as well. So we'll go ahead and step out, make sure all of the doors are unlocked. Go ahead and put the driver's side window down so we don't get locked out. And cut headlights, those fog lights on. 
access the rear seat. You can just release right there. Take a better look from the other side. Inside of the trunk, once again, very simple to access. Just open, and that will swing out. And then this, you actually have zippers, which you can release, and then that will lift up. Which you can see inside of the trunk, decent amount of space for what it is with the short wheelbase. You have your jack storage, tools, and everything else underneath of there. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. Glide it up from the front and stepping in. I'm six foot two and I can sit back here no problem at all. I would be lying if I said it wasn't a bit of a chore to get back here, but once you are, same nice cloth as up front. You do get a bench seat for two passengers. You can see your cloth around the edges. This is actually your wheel well, but nice little armrest. Interior lighting right there in the center. And of course you do get back seat pockets on each side. And stepping out, just as easy as getting in. But obviously, I mean, it's a Jeep. This is not something you buy for people hauling, but this is the perfect, throw the top down, crank some music up, enjoy your day car. You can see inside of here, it does include your state inspection certificate, pulls all of your owner's literature, everything like that. I believe too, yep, even your tools are in there for removing the doors and the soft top. And up front, you can see the halogen headlights and then your aftermarket fog lights. And to open the hood, typical Wrangler, just release both of those. And up under here, this one does have the 3.8 liter V6. As you can see, once again, just how clean everything under here is. Go ahead and close that. Just lock it back down into place. We'll get back in and cut this one off. Bring the manual driver's side window back up. And just cut it off right here. Move the key. And cut that lights off. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.